Go to the Tools panel in Affinity Photo and select the Ellipse tool. Click on Document and drag, hold down Shift to create a circle. Then go to Filters, down to Colors and Procedural Texture. Loads and loads of presets, just click here and down to Checkered. You should have that one, it's in the basic shapes. So Checkered and you can see your Checkered design. But I don't want that, I'm just going to remove this part of the equation. So just delete it, just delete it using the Delete key and now you've got that equation. If I tab off that, you've got lines. Now you'll notice it's got C there. I don't want C, so I'm just gonna change it to A, and also I need to change it here as well. While I'm doing that, it's an error. It doesn't know what A is, so I'm just gonna change that to A. Also, click Z twice. So I'm just gonna click that. So I'm gonna create three parameters in total. So now I'm just gonna put some values into that, say 50, and 12. I'm going to use A and B and C in the equations up here. Just click plus, so click that, and this time select that one, and copy, and paste, and paste. So exactly the same, exactly the same. Now on this side, you've got the channels. So you've got red, green, and blues. I don't want it to be selected like that. So click there, G's deselected, B's deselected. Click A, so that's deselected as well. Then go to the G and then B. So you've got R, G, and B. Now I'm going to change these. Obviously I don't want A for all of them, so I'm just going to put that to B, B, and that one to C. And then you get these lovely colourful lines. And of course you can change the values. You don't have to keep that. You can modify them to your heart's content. I'm not going to save as a preset, but you can if you want. Just go up here, click here, and create a preset and click apply. So you've got these lovely colorful lines. But what you can also do is you can go here, filters, and down to distort, and twirl. And it can apply a lovely twirl effect. Now don't click on the document because that will change the origin point. But you can change the angle. You can also change the radius. I'm gonna go with that one. So click apply. With the layer selected, go to layer and duplicate. Then go up here and rotate it. Just gonna move it around to about that. Go to the layers and you can change the blend mode. So I'm just gonna go with difference. Also, you can apply other effects, of course, filters, maybe Gaussian blur and others. If you want to, you can merge them together. Simply select both the layers, go to layer and then down to merge selected and they become one layer. 